What is this? Soya bran. What is it? Soya bran. Soya bran. Soya milk. Oh, soy milk. And nasi kato. Where are you from? I'm from the U.S., California. California. No Texas? No. Why no Texas? Why no Texas? So many houses, the poor boy. Yeah, all the cowboys, man. I'm not a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> How many houses are in the water village? Oh, so lot many. They live here, 30,000 people. Wow. How to say good morning again? Salam, salamat padang. Salamat pati. Okay. And um, how do you say, so it's salamat is good? So salamat pati is good morning. And how do you say good night? Good night. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video here from Brunei. Now, today we got an exciting one for you guys because we're actually about to take a water taxi across the Brunei River over to one of the largest water village settlements in the entire world. We're heading to a place called Kampung Ayer. Now you can actually see it from here. I don't think the GoPro would do it justice right now, but it's literally right across the water and we're gonna explore it together. So I'm super excited about this. Of course, I'm with Gladys. Hello. She's doing a little bit of window shopping here in the downtown of Bandar Seri uh, Begawan. There's so many different shops, souvenir shops, jewelry shops, a little bit of everything for everyone. Now. We actually just got some insight. You guys probably seen on my first impressions video that I actually talked to a guy on a boat who I made some arrangements with to meet up tomorrow. And he told me that he was going to charge me 40 US dollars to take me to the mangroves. Well, after talking to a couple people in the hotel, a couple people at Burger King, they actually told us that that is ridiculous, that that is a lot of money and that I should not pay that, that it literally costs one US dollars to cross the river to the village and to go to the mangroves roughly five to ten us dollars but that 40 was way too much and that he was trying to take advantage so um we're not doing that anymore now we're gonna go on our own well not on our own but still on a boat across the water but first i need something to drink because i'm thirsty and i just found this food truck hello hello you guys have stuff to drink oh yeah you do you got the ice milo and the orange what is this fire bag what is it? Soya bran. Soya bran. Soya milk. Oh, soy milk. And nasi katar. Nasi katar. Okay. You know what? I think I'll just do an ice milo. One ice milo, please. Milo. Milo. You guys always tell me I say milo wrong. I say milo because my family's from Latin America and we pronounce the M I L O like milo. Where are you coming from, sir? I'm from the U.S., California. Welcome and you? Local. Local from Brunei. <laughs> But I've noticed that there's so many people from all over the world in Brunei. Vietnamese, Indian. I met a lot, a couple of Thai people that live yes. here, Filipinos. Where did you go to see the Professor's Monkey Village? Yes, that's what we're doing right now. Now? Yeah, right now. We're going to just go over on the boat. Hi, folks. Oh, that's the ice milo. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Sir, Thank you. No, not a boat ride. We just want to cross. Oh, cross. Yeah, just cross. Thank you. You're welcome. Here you go. You want to try the the Milo? Yes. You've you've actually thing. tried it, right? Yeah. Uh, I gotta lay your. Thank you so Malaysia. much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, you tried it in Malaysia. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Wow, that is delicious. <laughs> it is good, huh? Mm. Man, Milo, you can't go wrong. Milo's one of those drinks. Ooh. I'm just missing a roti with this. Yeah, mm. that's, she knows exactly what she's talking about. But Milo is one of those drinks that, I don't know, for me, I didn't go up, grew up drinking Milo. Thank you. Man, everybody in Brunei is so kind. They all stop for pedestrians. I love it. I swear I feel like I'm in Europe. Yeah, this Something place is like awesome. Poland. Dude, it doesn't feel like Southeast Asia here. It yeah. feels completely different. Um, but yeah, Milo is one of those drinks that as soon as you taste it, it puts a smile on your face. Yeah. It's so delicious. Now, I didn't grow up drinking Milo. Milo is, I think it's more, I want to say it's a lot more, it's from Australia, I believe. But I want to say it's more popular in the Asian countries. Um, and of course, Australia, New Zealand. But in our side of the world, we have Nesquik. 
We drink more Nesquik. Is that the same in Venezuela? No, in Venezuela we drink toddy. Toddy. Nothing can toddy. be toddy. Toddy is el mejor. Toddy <laughs> Let is me the try best. This. Yeah, if you guys don't know what toddy is, I tried it when I was in Venezuela. Ooh, Actually, <laughs> I ate it, I drank it a lot, and it's delicious. T O D D Y, toddy. Yeah, it's the one you'll see with the red wrapper if you Google it. Yes. Mm. No. That is bomb. No. Literally. Chocolate milk, so delicious. All right. Now, this here is the Brunei River. And we're about to take a boat over that way. Bro, I can't do tomorrow. Because they told me $40 was too much. Oh, everything $40. <laughs> let me think about it. I will let you know. <laughs> so they literally just told us that that was way too much, huh? Yeah, maybe to cross is only one dollar. How much is it to cross? Oh, just one dollar. But the whole tour, forty dollars. Okay. All right. You know what? Can you pick us? Can you take us right now for one dollar? Okay. I meet you over there. Okay. We talk to you over here. All right. Okay, okay, thank you. All right, so we're gonna chop it up with this man, and who knows, maybe he is giving us a completely honest price. We'll figure it out. Of course, when you talk to locals, um, let's be honest, um, $40 for a lot of people is a lot of money, especially in Asia. Um, there are a lot of people with a lot of money, like everywhere in the world, but there's also a lot of people um, that are struggling to make ends meet. Just like, to be completely honest with you guys, just like my family is back at home, you know? Um, so for a lot of people, $40 is a whole lot of money, but I have no problem paying $40 for a nice tour, especially with the honest, hardworking, uh, what do you call him, a boatman? A boatman. A boatman. So um, we'll talk to him right now, and if it is in fact a honest good deal, then we'll schedule it for not tomorrow, but the following day, because tomorrow we got things to do here because they say on Sundays, the city gets awesome so yes. we'll schedule it for Monday but for now we'll take a little taxi ride across so I can show you guys the largest floating village in the world and the oldest all right so this here is where Hakima boat is wow this is a cool little look looking dock this is the river where we saw the man on my first video and this is where we're coming down to let me help you be careful be careful steps look a little slippery we just saw a video on on the internet of a couple in Hawaii the wife fell into the water and the man tried to go and help her and he fell in the water too all right there you go Oh, you're a professional. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Hello, hello. Where are you from? Sir? What's your name, sir? Hassan. Hassan. Yes. Chris. Chris. Nice to meet you. Yes. Where you so, from? what? Where are you from? I'm from the U.S., California. California. No Texas. No. Why no Texas? Why Texas? no Texas? So many house the cowboy. Yeah, all the cowboys, man. I'm not a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> and she's from Venezuela. Venezuela. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, from not tomorrow because they told me Sunday is all the weekend market. In the market. Can we do Monday morning? Monday morning. I give you deposits. Okay, Monday morning. What Monday morning. Okay, what time? Um, 8 a.m. Okay, I will just impress them. Okay, but, but what's included in the tour? Where do we go? What the village of? Okay. And so the Sultan Palace. Sultan Palace? And okay. you can see the mosque, the ownership built by the water. Okay. And then the piece already there by the mangrove see the province of monkey. Okay. And maybe the crocodile you can see. Oh, crocodile! Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. And so it lasts roughly like two hours? Maybe, yeah. Okay, cool. No problem. So you That's buy a good me. deal. You buy me, enjoy. Okay. One hour, two hour, no problem. I like that. Go. Because my, my job, sir, I'm driver was a taxi a long, long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 32 years old. 32 years That's driving water taxi. My job. Okay. I hit the 13 kids. You have 13 kids? Yes. Uh, three grandsons. Wow. I have. That's amazing. Yeah. 
<laughs> this man is a strong man. <laughs> nine, nine boy four girl I have. Wow, He's nine. He's the adult, so the 31 years old. Wow. And the youngest, the 11 years old. Okay. Finish already. Stop, not more again. No Stop. more. Not more. No more. Very busy. We uh, <laughs> because I have the green cell three. Yeah. Uh, MIT. <laughs> Sounds like you spent a lot of time in the room. <laughs> I, All live, right. I live by the water village now. Oh, you live in the water yes. village? Oh, okay. Cool. Water so this, village is big, sir. So this yes, here is the water village. By the water. How, How many houses are in the water village? Oh, so lot many. They live here, 30,000 people. Wow. Okay. But all the Bruneian Malay. Okay, okay. No China, no India. All the Bruneian Malay. Bruneian Malay, Malay here. here. Only the generation only. Okay. They're a new house. More than the home by the water. Oh, those are the modern yes, homes. Modern. The is home. is that the government build? Yes. Oh, okay. You can pay the every month. Only the finish already. The thing twenty five years all finish. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, um, here here's the two dollars for now. Yes. Um, do you have change for big money? On my name. I have one hundred. Oh, I have. Okay. All right. <laughs> then here, let me um. I'll leave you twenty dollars right now. Deposit. Okay. okay. That way, I don't waste your time. You don't waste my time. Okay. That's fair. Anytime you book a tour with somebody, okay. you gotta give a deposit okay. because it's fair. No problem, sir. This one. I give you eighty. One, 80. two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more again. <laughs> I give me the Singapore money. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Okay. So. I so see you Monday, okay? Monday 8 o'clock. Okay. Maybe, you, maybe you pick us up and take us across. Um, how, how long do you stay here? Uh, 30 minutes. Okay, yeah. I, I come back here. No okay, problem. cool. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Thank nice you. Nice man. Thank you, bro. Okay. All right. Okay. That's how you do business. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, Thank you. time for us to I climb on out. Boat. Okay. Your boat's nice. Okay, yeah. I see you Monday. Okay. Oh, I see you in a little bit. 30 yeah, minutes. Okay. All right. All right. Well, no. Sounds like an honest man, and sounds like he got a lot of mouths to sp mouths to feed. So, okay. see you soon. Thank you. So we'll definitely go on a boat tour on Monday with him because that sounds awesome, and we'll be able to see a different side of the the floating village here. All right. So, this here is the largest the largest floating village in the entire world, Kampung Ayet. Now, I'm not sure exactly where to start, but I figure we'll just wander around and I'll show you guys this place because I've heard many impressive things about this area. Now, it looks like that's a tourism gallery, cultural center. They got a lookout tower. And I love how everything reminds you to keep it clean all around the city. All right, well, maybe we should start by giving you guys a little bit of a view of the city as well as the village over in this direction so there goes our our boat captain his name was Assad right Hassan Hassan I think Hassan yes sounds like a super honest guy so keep looking out for the videos and um, if you're planning a trip to Brunei and if our trip goes well on Monday definitely come support the local hard work and men and women of Brunei let's give them all business so here from where we're standing right now you get an incredible view of the city of Bandar now Sun should be setting pretty soon so the lights absolutely perfect and let me just tell you guys the weather is absolutely perfect this is probably one of the most the more cooler places I've been to in Southeast Asia the weather's perfect and then here you get to see a little bit of the the floating village homes that are situated here now the reason why so many people or the reason why so many um yeah so many people recognize this village as one of the oldest water villages uh water village communities in the entire world is because it is because they have found transcripts sorry i'm getting tongue twisted because this is obviously information that is new to me. I just got done learning this myself. But um, they have found transcripts from over a thousand years from Chinese um, ships that used to come into this area and do trades. And they have found um, writings and books 
with drawings of this village from early European settlers that came to this area over 600 years ago. That's how they're able to uh, come up with an assumption of how long this village has been around. Now, according to a couple articles that I read, there's over 30,000 people that call this village home here in Brunei, which makes up something about 10% of the entire population of this capital city, which is extremely impressive. And I mean, look at these homes. Look how they're sitting on top of these wooden stilts. It's quite impressive. It's super impressive, actually. Now, you find a lot of these um, water villages all around Southeast Asia. But as I, as I mentioned, a lot of the ones that you find in Cambodia and Thailand have only been around two, 300 years, which is still um, incredibly long. But in comparison to a thousand plus years, they're relatively new. Now, it's awesome seeing the contrast between this water village, like super humble water village, then you see this pretty impressive skyline. Now, some of you guys may, might be like, what are you talking about super impressive skyline? Kuala Lumpur is amazing. Yes, you're right. Um, Kuala Lumpur, Bangkok, they're super, how can I say it? A lot more modern. Wow, look how this guy's flying. He's like gliding on top of the water. Damn, that's sick. But this skyline is pretty impressive too. I like it and I love seeing all of the, the different mosques pop up in every direction. Now it's kind of hard to grasp that here with the GoPro, but there's mosques coming up um, in that direction, one up on the hill, one down by the, by the coastline. I can also see the one that's popping up behind these trees here. It's very impressive. What are your first impressions so far of the, the, fl the floating water village here, that Gladys? so quiet. It is, huh? Listen. Silence. I love it. This is a place, Brunei, where I think you can go if you want to be with yourself to take a long walk. Um, it's peaceful. Yeah, Brunei is very that's peaceful. What I feel, and that's what I, I feel uh, like more in this village. Well, we haven't entered, but here on the entrance like I can feel it's peaceful wow look at this walkway I wonder if there's coffee shops or something that'd be cool huh if there is a coffee shop or something like that to sit down here in this village I did see on Google Maps that there are a couple like hotels hostels over in this area should we cross yeah, why not? I'm a little bit I'm a little bit scared to be fair you get scared? <laughs> walk through the middle walk through the I middle focus I don't know about you guys, but I'm one of those people that like, if there's not a rail on something like this, I feel like I'm losing my balance. <laughs> just being honest with you guys. Yeah. But just yeah, just slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. Now you can tell that they have like reinforced a lot of these homes because look, you got like the traditional wood structures and then you also have a lot of concrete structures as well. Wow, I love that. The, the deck, huh? Yeah. Oh, this is like some sort of lodge. Very impressive. No, this is cool. You got a fisherman boat here. Now you can tell it's low tide right now. I can imagine that when it's high tide, the water, I might be wrong, but the water probably comes up quite high. I mean, I can see the water marks out on the post and it looks like the water gets up there. So I'm pretty sure if we come out early in the morning, we're going to actually be able to navigate through these homes which is cool. Oh man, this is an awesome looking place. Wow, I like this. so quiet. Yeah, you can just hear water dripping. You can hear the boats from across the river. Oh my God, they got a duck in here. Hello. Yeah, bro, don't worry. I'd be pissed too. I think it's the alarm over here. Yeah, he's the alarm. 
is the neighborhood alarm. Wow, how cute this. Yeah. Did you see the <laughs> Gladys is funny. Wow. Yeah. She notices all the small things that I just completely look past. Wow, that is an alarm clock duck. <laughs> Oh, those are cool, huh? Man, this place is awesome. I think it's a swing. Wow. That is very nice. Hello. Hello. Yeah, this place is awesome. It's super unique. Now. Wow, that is a nice house, huh? Look, it says right there, Jabal Ramiai House. Wow, this is impressive. And you can actually tell that, um, look, they got a water system as well. This water system is probably what provides all of the drinking water or shower water to all of the homes. So there is a bit of an infrastructure here that makes it all work. And you can see all of the plumbing going from um, these pipes into the homes. Man, this is impressive. Now, um, I heard that it actually takes several hours to actually walk all the way around this uh, floating water village. But what I was reading online actually, Gladys, before we came on out here, was that there's actually a, a school. Hello, how's it going? Is that there's actually a school as well as a, oh man, some of these, some of these wooden planks have definitely seen better days before. You feel like you're in a video game? <laughs> and um, so yeah, there's actually a school here. There's a fire department here, a police department, all on this floating village. Yeah. Wow. And they have signs that actually lead you to certain areas. Let's read what they say. The prawn crackers maker is 63 meters away. The boat maker, pottery house, Kunyit 7 Lodge. So that's definitely like a hostel or a hotel. And there's also the Jabal Rama house that's 22 meters, which is what we just saw. And look at all the little birdies in the cage. So, yeah, those prong crackers that they left us in the hotel. Yeah, should we walk down that way? Wow, yeah. Let's go. It says 63 meters, but it is starting to sprinkle, so hopefully that stays away. And look at this crazy cat. He's just rolling over like if he can't fall a bunch of feet. Hello. What's up, buddy? Brunei Are you from Kampung Ayar? I hope you got that itch out. We all know what that feels like when you just got something, you just need an itch and you can't get it, you know? That's why I have Gladys now. I'll be like, Gladys, scratch the middle of my back. <laughs> And she comes to the rescue. All right, you better be careful now. Look at these wooden planks. I wonder if we can walk through here, or maybe there are certain streets where you cannot walk because of the wood or something. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? We'll find out. <laughs> now, the way that my feet are like moving on the planks, I'm not 100% convinced. To be fair yeah true it's a bit slippery as well because of the rain oh wow so these are like some I guess what used to be like a home you got a mattress a vanity set it's pretty interesting yeah here's the prong cracker maker maybe we can buy some prong crackers that'd be cool now I must say I keep repeating myself, but I'm very impressed with Brunei so far. And this is definitely a place that should be on everybody's list, especially if you're in Southeast Asia. It's worth coming by for quite a few days. There's the sign up there, Prong Cracker Maker. Straight ahead, it says. It's not only this one, but it's closed. Is it closed? Prong, where's the Prong Cracker Maker? Was that 63 meters? I don't know. Excuse me. He left. Where is the prong cracker maker?
<laughs> Who are you whistling at? Oh, it's the bird? That is funny. It is the bird whistling at Gladys. Wow. I wonder if we can walk out here. Look, let's go see. <laughs> that is amazing yeah birds are awesome i love them all right well these here are more of the old style homes and actually right in front of us is a huge complex of newer modern homes that were actually built um from what i read by the government of brunei and the sultan they actually built these homes to uh, modernize them quite a bit but also to keep a population of people living here because obviously through time people start moving out of these villages and they don't want these villages to completely die out i mean these places have to stay alive because it's very much part of the culture and it's incredibly important to not only the history of the country but to the history of the world i mean this is how people lived for thousands of years on floating villages so it'd be a shame to you know have them all completely go away now what these remind me of um are like the the homes that you have in venezuela like the subsidized housing like from the government and we also have them in the u.s as well like the project housing where like um they're huge neighborhoods where all of the homes and apartments are all like the same color same layouts this is what this reminds me of here but look you can tell they got air conditioning grills all kinds of patios, lighting. No, it's very impressive. Too bad we can't find the prong cracker maker, huh? I wanted some prong crackers. Pregúntale a ella. Oh, it's homemade. Oh, so we got to come back Monday? Uh, I'm not sure. Do you, depends on the weather. Oh, because you make it outside? No, because we have to dry it under the sun. Oh. So it's raining, we can't dry it. And if tomorrow doesn't rain, you, you do? No, no. If it's raining, we don't make it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the whole day has to be dry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. I guess we missed out on the prong cracker maker, you guys. We got to come back. To the village. Can you imagine one Starbucks in here? <laughs> what if there is a Starbucks in here? That's crazy. I don't think so, but it's definitely time to get a, a coffee. And here the vibes are for a coffee with this weather. Yeah, I wish there was a coffee shop here. It'd be nice. That'd be a cool business, man. A huge business idea. Like start a trendy coffee shop right here in the middle of Kampung Ayer. Hmm. Now I'd love to see inside of one of these homes, but you know what? um maybe with our boat captain we can make that happen on monday yeah maybe um we'll go out and do a little tour with him and he can bring us to our to his home maybe we can invite him to lunch or to dinner too but yeah guys this here is kampung ayer the largest and oldest water village in the entire world and it's located here in brunei who would have ever thought i hope you guys enjoyed this little video hope you guys enjoyed this tour of this village um, we're going to keep wandering around a little bit, but I also don't want to stay around too long in case Hassan is waiting for us because we did tell him that we'll be there in about a half an hour. Let me see what time I got here on the camera. 28 minutes. Oh, so we got some plenty of time still. Yeah. You know what? Let's actually walk around a little bit more. I see some kids over on the at the end of this um, boardwalk. But yeah, definitely keep your eyes open when you're here because... Is this the same kitty? No, this, is one. this is another What's up, buddy? Are you chilling? Oh, he's a stretching. Doing yoga? Are you a yoga cat? 
<laughs> he is a yoga cat. All right, let's walk around a little bit more. Wow, this is a huge home. Look at that. That is massive. Man, guys, I really need to come up with a new solution for this camera because it's been messing up on me quite a bit. But we actually just got done hanging out, talking to some children that were actually having a water gun fight. And they actually told us that you can't swim in this water because there's a lot of crocodiles. I asked them, do you guys swim in here? And they were like, no, no way. We wouldn't dare swim in here. Uh, but yeah, everybody here in this village is super nice. We've come across uh, plenty of locals that have walked right past us. And every single person says, welcome to Brunei or welcome to the floating village. Yes. So right now we're actually about to make our way back out. I'm going to see if we can go back to the kids again because they actually taught us all kinds of different words <laughs> in um, Malay, I believe it is. And I want you guys to see them because they were so nice, so sweet to us. And everybody has been that way here um, in this trip. Man, the hospitality here is amazing. I really wish we had longer time, don't you? Yeah, now I think we should stay here at least five to seven days. Yeah, at least five to seven days. A lot longer for, for sure. Us, but we're filming. Yeah, especially making videos. I don't know, as a normal tourist, maybe three days is fine here. But um, we like to actually stay in longer places and interact with people meet families and talk to a lot more people so yeah we'll actually exit back out this way the way that we came and see if i can't learn how to say good morning again we came back <laughs> i forgot i forgot how to say um how to say good morning again salam salam padang Salamat pati. Okay. And um, how do you say? So it's salamat is good. Yes. So salamat pati is good morning. And how do you say good night? Good night. Salamat malam. Salamat malam. Yes. Oh, okay. So the language that you guys speak in Brunei is uh, Malay. Yes, Malay. Oh, interesting. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, welcome. Where are you from? We come from, the, I come from the United States, but she's from Venezuela. Oh, oh Venezuela. Which yeah, you know Venezuela? Yeah, I know. What, how do you know Miss? Uh, how do you know Venezuela from Miss Miss Universe? Miss Universe, which year? This year. This year. This year. Yeah. Uh, which state you from? I'm from California. You're from California. Yeah, and you? Are you from Brunei? Yes, I'm from here. Oh, okay, man, beautiful place. This is an awesome place that you guys live. I, I thought you guys swam in the water when it's high tide, but they were telling me it's because the crocodiles. Yeah, there's a crocodile. There. Really? Yes. And they get pretty big here? Yeah, they get pretty big. Has anybody gotten hurt from the crocodiles or no? Okay, rarely. Rarely? Yeah, rarely. Yeah. Oh, okay, but it has happened. Yes, it has happened. Oh, man. Once or twice. Wow. wow. Are they walk into the houses? Nope. No? If there is a boat, they will just care. Uh, oh, so they run away from the boats? Yeah, they scared of the engine. Oh, okay. And is there a lot of tourists that come here to the village or no? Oh, there's a lot. There's, there's a lot. Of it. Yeah, I notice everybody likes to come here, especially because um, it's very easy to get to from the city. Yes, it was very easy. Like you just, you just get in a boat and go here. Yeah, but all of you guys go to school here in the village or across the water? Across the water. Oh, okay. We can take two roads. We can walking or by just using a boat. Oh, so you can walk to the city? No, our school is usually there. Oh, that that's the school, that that's building. The school. Yes, with the, the light. Yes, on the hill. Oh, up on the hill. Oh, up on the hill. That's the school. Oh, that's the oh wow. And is there a mosque here in the village? There is the mosque. This is the mini mosque. So this this green building is the mini mosque, yes, but there's a, another mosque over in this direction. The main mosque. Wow, that's interesting. It's pretty historical here. And how many people live here in the village, you know? Mm, past 10 years, there are around maybe 20,000 people left here. 20,000 people left, but it used to be a lot bigger. Yes, that's that bigger because it used to be main capital. This, uh, yeah, this was the main capital before Bandar Seri. Yes, before Bandar Seri Begawan exists. Wow, that is amazing. And how old are you, bro? I'm 17. I just finished my high school. Oh man, congratulations. Yeah, what, what are you about to do? I'm going to join army. You're going to join the army? I was in the army too. You're in the army? Yeah, I was in the army for cool. five years. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I used to jump out of airplanes. Oh, we saw you uh, Air Force. No, Army, but paratrooper. Paratrooper. In the Army. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, what do you want to do in the Army? I think... I still can't decide it. Okay, but when are you going to join? Very soon? Yes, maybe... <laughs> next month, I register. Oh, okay. Next month, you register. Yes. You turn 18 and you get to register. Yes. 
Oh man, well I wish you the best, bro. Yeah, you speak you. amazing English, bro. Oh, Do some good things for your country. Yeah. yeah, joining the army is so important and I feel like everybody should join the army because yeah. it makes you a strong person and you get to help your family. Yes, you could also do something for your nation and country. Exactly. For God and country. That's how you do it. What's your name, bro? I'm Wafik, but people call me Wayne. Wayne? You know Magic Wayne? Yeah, yeah, yeah Magic yeah. Wayne. Okay, my me. name's Chris. Hey, <laughs> Chris. Yeah, man, nice to meet you. Here, let me leave you with some cards. Here. I Here. got them. Oh, do you have some for you? That way I can leave them? Oh, yeah. You guys making vlogs? Yeah, we make videos. That's my um, my girlfriend's channel, and that's mine. Cool, pretty cool. Yeah, you guys want some cards? This is my nieces. These are your nieces? Man, you guys have a beautiful family. Oh, here you go. And be careful about the... Yeah, we got to be careful. I just wanted to come back because they were so nice to us and they were teaching us all the words, but I forgot how to say good morning, but now I know. Salamat Padang. Salamat Pagi. Salamat Pagi. Why do I keep saying Padang? Our language is the same like a Philippine Tagalog. Oh, okay. Yes. So you can, you can understand with the Filipinos? A bit. Okay, okay. Well, Wayne, thank you so much, bro. I wish you the best, man. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys again soon. Hopefully, we'll be back for a water gun fight. Where can we buy water guns? In the city? Yeah, in the city there's a lot. Okay, we need to buy some and we'll be back. Are you, are you guys here every day? Like, or is summer vacation right now? Uh, maybe summer vacation only. Okay, okay. Because most of my nieces live on the other side. Oh, so they just come here to play? Yes, but I mainly live here. Okay, you're, is this your house here? No, this is my grandmother's house. Oh, okay. And uh, beside it, this was my house. Beside it, okay. Well, maybe we'll see each other again soon, Wayne. Yeah. Take care, bro. Take care, you too. Bye. Hey, I wish you the best in the army, man. Yeah, thank you. Bye, bye guys. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. bye. You too, man. Yeah. Take care. Bye, guys. <laughs> yeah, they always blow kisses. It's amazing. Hello. All right, guys. Well, this here is the most amazing floating village in the entire world. And my favorite place so far here in Brunei. So if you do make it here, come by. Um, interact with the locals, talk with the kids, have fun, and I'll see you guys again soon for another video from here in this beautiful, tiny country of Brunei. Bye bye, guys. We're in a rush. Let's go for Hassan. <laughs> yeah, we got it. We left Hassan hanging, and we've been here for about 45 minutes. You guys missed the first interaction, but we literally were talking and playing with the kids for about 15 minutes. Lattice was running up and down the boardwalk with them. It was super fun, but oh. These cameras, man, they don't like the heat. All right, guys, see you soon. You were always smarter. I was the one.